This playthrough is rated E for everyone. Better be prepared to put on some shades. We're going to the Tower of Light. Greetings and salutations, viewers, while I'm back here with another episode of Brain Lord. Get your brain ready as we enter the Tower of Light, the, the tower that took our dad forever to find, or if he didn't find, or whatever. Yeah, we found it in like 20 minutes. Okay. Anyway, we go through the tower, so we got some skulls here. Easy to kill. Takes a couple swipes. And they give 100 money per, so I'll go and kill these guys. Later on, I won't try to kill every single person because I won't need money all the time. Like these skeleton guys, for example. I will maybe kill a couple of them, but then there'll be a time where I'll, it'll be easier. Yeah, see how annoying they are to fight? Because you have to wait to kill them because they keep falling apart. Yes, they're skeletons. So it's better just to wait till you get a certain item later to make this a little bit easier. So, yeah, just uh, run through these guys, no problem. I mean, obviously I'll want to kill them later because of the whole, you know, they drop money and all that. Anyway, let's read this. Be careful of the goblin that controls lightning. His lightning could numb your body. I don't know if I call it a goblin, but then again, I'm used to, you know, standard Western fantasy versions of goblins and stuff like that. And if you, when I show you what it, what it looks like, you'll be like, that's a goblin? I'm like, mm, all right. I guess that's the Japanese version of a goblin. It's hard to say. But, uh, eh, you know, different different parts of the world. I mean, they have a different version of the vampire. Their vampires hop and all that other stuff. Or the vampire that has like a head and, and you know, the rest of them isn't there. Well, there is. It's just not the body part, if you know what I mean. Anyway, let's uh, keep uh, going through this. Hmm. Hello. Oh, there's uh, Ferris there. Hey, Ferris. Oh, Lamel. Or Lamille. I'm trying to make a map of this floor. Don't you think the first floor of the tower is small? Yeah, how does that work? Wouldn't the tower... Shouldn't the tower be the same size, or is it one of those towers that kind of goes shrinks as it goes up or whatever? But, uh, yeah, it did seem kind of small. Maybe the stairway to the second floor leads somewhere. I gotta search this floor a little longer. There's not much to this floor, but anyway, let's read this. Figure out the riddle of the door. The puzzle is in the room below. If you make a mistake, leave the room. You can start again, or you could use the return option, which will take you to the entrance of an area and then just leave that way. Makes it easier. So, what do we got here? Got a rock. Okay. Not a rock lobster, just a rock. And a switch. Ooh, it opens it. Aw, oh, man. Ah, oh, I'm not fast enough. How do I get that door open? How do I get the delicious door to open? Well, I'll show you. If you leave the room, you can start the puzzle over from the beginning. Proceed carefully. Anyway, this is a typical switch puzzle. We need to put something on it to open the door. We got a rock here. Unfortunately, we cannot pick up this rock. We can push the rock, though. So, yeah. And no, not every puzzle will be this easy. Uh, but, you know, it's a, it's the beginning of the game. It starts your brain off. You're like, okay, I'm going to have to solve puzzles to go through certain areas of the game. So, get your thinking caps on. I wouldn't say the game gets super difficult. The only time I had trouble in this game was mainly just because I had trouble noticing certain details uh, in the game but, uh, when I first played it. I had to st actually stopped playing the game for a while because I couldn't figure out like where to go to next. And it was basically a case of... I had to push on a wall or something like that, but we'll get to that when we get to that. But anyway, yeah, that opens the door. And yeah, actually, where was the rock? Oh, the rocks. Oh, I was actually going to talk to Ferris and see if she has a new dialogue or whatever. Yeah, if you leave the room, it resets the... Oh, Ferris disappeared. Okay, fine. Boo. But anyway, sorry about that. I was I was thinking for a second, hey, what happens if I actually open the door and go talk to her? Does she have extra dialogue? I'm like, oh, maybe. I don't know. I walked through the door, so... But yeah, she said she was going to explore this floor some more. Uh, I don't think you need to. I think it would, that, that that's it for the floor. You know? Yeah, this is the second. Well, actually, technically the second floor is bigger. This is just one of the rooms. So only the floor only changes when you go to, uh, you know, different stairs or whatever. So sorry for <laughs> repeating this twice. You know, for those who might have a uh, hard understanding certain concepts, I did it again for you. There you go. Even though you can uh, reset the game and. Uh, yeah, or reloaded the video, so or taking it to a different spot. But anyway, so we got more skeletons here. Nothing too difficult, especially if I'm not gonna fight them. Oh yeah, there's a save point there. You can save there if you want, but we're not doing that, or we don't need to. So what's this? We got some uh, doors here. We got an open area. So I want to go. I think I want to go this way first. Yes. All right. What's in here? What the rats? Ah, a mouse! 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 I hate mice! I hate mices to pieces! Ah. Oh yeah, she, that's right, she keeps repeating herself. What type of adventurer are you? But then again, Indiana Jones, was it, uh, um, Indy's dad didn't like mice, or technically rats. But, uh, okay, anyway. Yay! How about a reward, Ferris? 
Oh, thank you. I just hate mice. Anyway, that treasure chest contains the magic shot spell. I have it, so you can use it. Press, a, uh, press the attack button until the gauge goes to the top, then release it to fire. If you have more than one spell, you can select either L or R to buttons. Isn't that convenient? I was hoping for a kiss, but okay, no to cues. Nah, that's fine. This works as well. I get the magic shot, so the way it works is you press the attack button, hold it down, and release. It's actually not too bad in terms of power, so I might be using that more often, depending on how things go. Now yeah, let's keep exploring. Thank you first for telling us about how magic works. We'll get more magic later on. And obviously, each magic will do. Oh, right. I want to use on these skeletons because it does a lot more damage. Oh, there's the, uh, uh, more of those spheres or whatever. Ah, Firebrand is at level two. So let's take a look at his status. So his power has gone up a little bit, so he does a little bit more damage. Nothing crazy, but, oh, what the? Did you see that? Did you see that in the wall, viewers? The, the walls have eyes indeed. I wonder if I could get one of them. They do actually do things, so it's just, uh, I'm trying to get them to... I want to see if I can... Oh, nope. Can't hit it. Oh, well. Yeah, the walls have eyes, I guess. Not so much like the movie, where it's hills. Double kill. Sorry, I'll try to keep holding and doing this stuff to minimum, because, yeah, there's many sound effects that go on while doing it. Some people might find that sound annoying. But, uh, okay. What the... Hmm. What is this? Uh, looks like we got ourselves another... Oh! Barnus. Ah, oh, take a break. The monsters here are merciless. You should listen to an old man. I go at my own pace, take my time, and rely on the messages. You should read them carefully, too. Basically just telling you how to play the game, so let's see what this says. Beware of the floor. Notice the places that are different. Now. Oh, I actually don't want to go through this door yet. Uh, let's see. So, we want to go through these doors first. Uh, what does this say? Heal your wounds at the spring of life. Ooh, healing even though I haven't taken any damage. All right, how do we get this door? Uh, hmm. Okay, so we can move the rock. Let's see, show you. We can move the rock. And we got two switches here, so we have to press them at the same time. But how do we do that? We can't jump on both of them. We have to use these, these uh, steel balls. So you can push those, and they roll, so make sure, because if, it, if there was no rock there, it'd, it'd go down here and we had to reset the floor. However, to solve this one, this one's actually really easy. So press that one down, press that one right, press that one up, and then press this one right. So, very easy. Like I said, it's the first tower. Don't expect too, too much in terms of difficult puzzle solving. But anyway, this is the goblin, a brain thing. Okay. But anyway, if we if we hit it with our sword, uh, it'll numb us. Which what that means is every once in a while I'll get stunned and I won't be able to do anything. Uh, so that happens when you hit stuff with physical weapons that they have an effect like that. It, it'll affect you because you're hitting them or touching them. Or it happened if he touched you. But since I used magic shot, I didn't get numbed. So let's see what these are. A heart. Ooh. Gonna heal, use that later. And a reviving mirror. So what that does, let's uh, show that off. Whoops. Nope. I don't want to use that. I meant to go to the reviving mirror. When you're equipped with this, you can recover at one time. Nope, I don't want to equip it yet. I want to unequip it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yes, it does revive you, and you probably want to equip it, but I don't want to use it now because this is a really easy place. Anyway, if we use the Spring of Life, we'll heal 100%. So you can come back here at any time to heal. The only problem is we have to solve the puzzle every time we want to go through the door. Yay. That's nah, not that bad. Still. So. All oh, right. I keep forgetting it doesn't have extra dialogue even though I solved the message. So, all right. Anyway, now this this one said, watch out for the floor. And what does it mean by that? Let's find out. Do you see those, uh, huh, this floor looks very strange. Whoa! Well, you, uh, yeah, spikes appear. Now, how can you tell they're spikes? Well, if you look at the floor very, very carefully, see where my sword is swinging at the very end of it? You see that square? Yeah, that's where all the, so as long as you see those squares, you know where the uh, traps are gonna be, so it's really easy. Uh, another case of, oh, okay, cool. All right, anyway, we're in the next area here. Uh, I think I want to go... Oh, now he actually hit it. Oh, we found an apple, nice. Huh. How do you hit those things? Pondering, pondering. Uh-oh, more goblins, I guess. I would have called it like a brain jar thing or whatever, or, or a uh, uh, jellyfish or something like that, not a goblin. Huh. But yeah, how can you tell where those uh, eyes are? Really tell at all, so all right, anyway. Okay, ooh, hello. What's this? 
Well, it's like we got some platforming to do. All right, let's jump on it. Okay, so these platforms, what they do is that uh, they'll move anytime they're moved on, uh, jumped on. So, uh, so we can jump here. If you want to go back, just uh, jump right there. Let's see what that says. <laughs> Only the cautious and clever should proceed. Huh. All right. But yeah, every time you step on, it's gonna do that. So yeah, easiest way to get to move back is to just, just uh, jump back on the uh, puzzle again. So nothing wrong there. So uh oh. Locked. All right, we need a key for that one. So yeah, some doors in the game. Now you're probably thinking, is it on this floor? Well, sort of, but not here. So we'll have to explore this place to find the key. Where's the key? Is it around a dragon's neck? No, that's a different game. But anyway, we'll have to go down this way. Oh yeah. Oh, this one's gonna be tough. What can I do? We'll just jump sideways. I mean, some of the puzzles don't require you to do that. I just wanted to do that. Whoa! What are these? Look like Knowles to me. I actually don't know what their in-game name model is. Ooh, he dropped a warp gate. So what that is, we could have bought this earlier, but that's why I didn't want to buy it. Actually, I think there's a treasure chest in here that also does this. Travels instantly to any place you've been, so we could travel back to town if we wanted to, uh, and other places. So, but for now. All right, let's go through these doors. Let's see what's in here. Okay, I have to be careful. I switch there. Ah, no. yeah, there's the warp gate I was talking about, so. Alright, there's a chest in there, so. Never can I have too many. Now, you do have an item limit, uh, but right now we're not, we don't have to worry about it. Alright, this this is the floor I have to worry about. This room is the one I have to worry about because. Aha! Yeah, we got uh, we got those orange balls that'll, like, try to chase after us. Or what they do is they, they'll chase you in the direction you're standing. So if I had uh, not moved those balls and kept going forward, these two would have tried to smash me. For example, so. Alright, we found a key to the seal. Let's see what that says. Or see what that means. Key, key found on the second floor of the Tower of Light. Pay attention to the name. Key of Seals, huh? Well, by the way, this doesn't open the door we were just at, by the way, so. So don't worry about that. Okay, there we Ah! Activate all of them at once. Okay. Yeah, that one's another easy one. I mean, you'll probably get hit once just by accident because maybe you're not paying attention or something like that, but. All right, now we got more enemies in here. Yeah, they do the screech. All of them do the screech, by the way. They don't. They don't get unique screeches, unfortunately. Oh well. I I I do like old 8-bit or 16-bit screeches. I don't know why. Anyway, found a long bow, a new item for Lemiel. Let's check that out. Yeah, it's a little bit more powerful. Yeah, uh, yeah, I can attack him from distance, and you got a two to the attack. Now the only problem is, is that you don't get the you don't get the arc anymore, so you have to hit them from a di direction. So yeah, the bow will just hit whatever direction there. So I like the sword because of the arc, but sometimes you might want to use the bow if you don't want to use the magic shot, for example. But you already had the magic shot, which is technically more powerful than the bow. So it's one of those weird things where would you rather use the magic shot instead? Oh yeah, and with the arrow, you have to let it like. You can't move if you, yeah. See, if I hit it and move, it'll move in that direction. So that might be a way to like kind of, like if you shoot a direction that someone's catching you another way. If you move fast enough, you might be able to get there or the other way. But you do have to let it. If you're shooting in front of you, you do have to let it finish its animation cycle. So it's locked. All right. Well, anyway, the key for that we found is for this door right here. So. What? It's not for this door. Are you sure? All right, fine. Yeah, it's for the other door, so we have to go back. All right, back the way we came. Oop. You got me there. But yeah, remember that bottom door for later, though, so. Yeah, it's almost tricked you there for viewers. Yeah, you have to actually use on this door, so. Yeah, remember that other locked door though, so we will come back for that one, so. Alright, whoa. Alright, let's check this out. There we got another puzzle area. Let's see. This one's a bit bigger than before, so keep your keep your mind's eye on the prize. Just jump there. I mean there's really no puzzle here, it's really just just making sure you have at least some decent uh, platforming skills. Ugh. Found chain mail. All right, nice. So we can now uh, um, equip that. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy. Ah, 
Armor made of chains fastened together. Defense power three. All right, now we got a bit more defense. So now we can, whenever we get back to town, we can get rid of that old armor. Yeah, our defense is now up to four, so nice. All right, let's keep going. We're back the way we came. Uh. Yeah, just, oh, I, I guess I could have jumped. I didn't need to do that in the first place, huh? Yeah, we're getting all sorts of little treasures around here, so. Mm -hmm, boy. All right. Let's go this way now. Ah! More red goblins. Whoops, wasting my, uh. Wasting my, uh, defense, my buckler. Oh well. All right, now he's level three. Let's take a look at his stats now. Yeah, power is four. So yeah, he's gonna go up one. Uh, I'll stop checking after a while because he basically goes up one every time he levels up. So yeah, I'm trying not to. Uh, Fortunately, they're gonna reset again if you move too far away. This is one reason why I kind of prefer the sword to the bow. To tell you the truth, like I said, I've got the magic shot, so I think I'm gonna switch back to the sword. I think it's just easier to use overall. I mean, the bow is good. It's just you know. I, it's either the sword or magic shot, you know what I mean? Because I like the fact that the uh, sword can hit multiple people at once. As a, oh, ah. I can't believe I fell for that. Even though I, kn I know about the whole, you know, uh, uh, trap situation, I still ran into it. it took a few pits of damage. Might, might use a heart to give myself a bit more HP at this point, so let's see. Now there's a, another goblin there. I don't know why it's called a goblin. You tell me. Right, anyway. Yeah, and he'll always go for, if anything, your uh, your creature will go for. I mean, uh, drop a protect. Let's take a look at that. All right. Magic ashes with strange smell. Raises guard from one to three. So this is one of the things where um, you, it is random how it works. So I, I forgot how the game sets random number generations. I, I know in some games it's based on walking into a room. So if I used it, for example, it might be one thing, but then if I walk into another room, it would be different. I think in Elnard, I'm trying to remember in Elnard how it is. I think it's based off how many steps you do or how many st or how many steps an uh, a, um, NPC will move bases the idea on how the AI works. Uh, let's see what we got there. So we got two points of guard for that. So that's not bad. I, I was actually thinking about maybe trying to do a thing where I could uh, cha uh, like do save scumming, where basically I save it and then I try to get the max result every time. But I don't know, that's kind of boring, really, when you think about it, because, you know, that would be me trying to cheat, cheat well, I, I wouldn't say cheat the system. It's not like this game's hard. Elnard is a lot, old or Seven Saga, sorry. Uh, th those games are a lot harder. You kind of need to do that in those games. But this game, not so much. You don't have to worry about having to like cheat the system to to survive. All right, now he's level four, so so now he's gonna do a lot more damage. Yeah, I think we're good on the traps, yeah. Don't attack the stone statue. Hmm, okay, I can do that. I don't know why I'd want to attack the stone statue, but actually, I might. What I might do? Hold on. I think there's sort of a weird uh, glitch when it comes to this guy, so I'm gonna make sure to unequip my weapons. You're not supposed to, but I've had a. Well, I'll show you here in a second. So, oh yeah, if you don't have a. Uh, oh yeah, I should have. Uh, I think I'll un. I think I'll seal my. Um, uh, my creature for a second, just so I won't attack him. Okay. Now what you're supposed to do, yeah, if you, whoop, okay, see, I don't know how that works because you're supposed to just be able to push him. All right, let me go ahead and heal. I'll go ahead and use a heart. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and use a heart, why not? I shouldn't have to, but I'm going to anyway. I do want a little bit more HP. So what you're supposed to do is push him, but I've had times where I've tried to push him and then my shield will block him and it'll activate him. So you're not, basically you're just not supposed to attack him, but I don't know why that, I think that's bugged or something like that, so, oh well, whatever. Look around you often. Roads are sometimes found in unexpected places. Lemiel's found the third floor key. So we can now go back to that one floor, or one area, and use that key. However, huh, you said look around, huh? I wonder. There's a secret door here, or 
treasure or stairs here. So yeah. Uh, so over the course, of, the game's not always going to tell you if there's a secret. Sometimes it will, but it will be like in some other place from like a note or a character or whatever. So just keep your eyes on like obscure like spots that seem out of place in the game. I'll try to find all of them. I don't know if I remember every single one, but I'll try to be efficient with it. So, all right, let's go this way first. Oh, right, uh, let's go put everything back on. <laughs> yeah, it's still screwed up anyway because of the whole, it, uh, it, I pushed it and then it attacked me. Good thing it didn't kill me, but you know. All right, did I? Yeah, 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 okay. But yeah, that's uh, that's one of those things where the game itself isn't really that buggy for the most part, but there are a few things that get a little weird, if that makes sense. I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to say what what I'm meaning here. Whoa! You almost got me there, dude. But yeah, a couple of magic shots or a couple shots from Firebrand now that he's gained a sufficient level. So, all right, let's see what's in here. All right, source of power. So these are basically similar to the dust powders or whatever. Uh, it'll strain our power from one to three. Now these I do want to, I do want to kind of mid-max just because you know it'd be making me more efficient in terms of damage. Uh, and uh, but I'll save that for later. And we found some cheese. Not the keys, the cheese. Uh, cheese heals six HP. Preserved food. The smell is horrid. Well, yeah, you found cheese in a random chest in a in an old tower. What'd you expect? You know, pie, pumpkin pie. I actually don't like pumpkin pie. Uh, if I had to eat pie, I'd probably eat apple pie. But overall, I'm not really the biggest fan of pie overall. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I think it's just kind of too sweet. I used to eat sweets a lot as a kid, but when you get older, after a certain point, not that you lose your sweet tooth per se, but you don't like eating sweets as often because you're like, uh, oh, man, I don't, I don't really, I don't really need that burst of energy right now. That type of thing, or or it doesn't work, you know. But that's why like, why it's hard for me to eat like uh, donuts and uh, cinnamon rolls and stuff like that, or cake. I don't like eating cake as much as I used to either. So same thing, just too sweet. I mean, I'll if someone has it, you know, and offers it to me, I'm not like oh I don't want that. I'll be like, well, I might as well. <laughs> but I don't go out of my way. So what's this? Obtain the fairy inside the jade, it'll become a powerful partner. Ooh, another fairy. The foundation jade. Name the fa uh, fairy. Uh, let's see. Foundation, huh? Well, we could call him the wall. The, uh, too bad I can't call him. Well, I could call him brick house. No, wait. I don't think there's enough words in that brick. If I do K, I don't know. It'd be like hose or something like that. So could I do brick wall? If I don't use CK, I could call brick wall. Okay. I'll just use K, even though that's not how that works. There, where it is. Brick wall. Yep. So brick wall is uh, our uh, shield uh, uh, fairy. So he raises your defense power. Now let's see what it does to our stats. Yeah, it raises it by one. So when you gain it, I, I don't believe he raises he raises your uh, guard every level. I think it's like every other level or something like that where your his stat goes up. So let's see. No wait, it was our guard was at one. Yeah, he raised it to two. Sorry, um, so five from five uh, from three to five. So yeah, I forgot how his level up works. I'll have to look up the uh, explanations online. Weirdly enough, not a lot of people have done a lot of uh, um, like look into the game you know what i mean like figuring out all the all the intricacies of the game like uh, hacking and all this other stuff i think it's because it's not as popular not as well known of a game outside of like seventh saga or for those who played mystic art that one is a good game but mystic art is so weird in terms of like the story and everything like that that's probably why it's so memorable and the music's fantastic although there's some controversy over that but that's not that's not the place this this is this is brain ward here whoa all oh, right forgot about you i'll just have you attack or try to jump at me all right all right now we have to do some backtracking that does that unfortunately that will be a thing that will happen whether going back to town to buy wow yeah this uh, game does not have invincibility spheres you will take damage over and over and over again if you stand on something so be careful 
Yeah, I almost, uh, almost could have, almost would have been bad news bears. Oh, good lord. All right, I might have to actually heal because I don't want to hear that sound. So, whoops. Man, I was doing so well, and then all of a sudden I start making all these mistakes. Man. And I know the, I know the traps are here. That's the thing. But uh, sometimes you make those mistakes. You can't do that, Brain Lord. No, sir. Brain Lord, you have to use your brain in Brain Lord. I know, right? Using your brain? You gotta think things, the viewers. Yes, I'm old, and I can't think as fast as I used to or reacted. Well, ah. But yeah, uh, Brick Wall will not do anything. Like, he just sits there. That's his whole thing, is to give you defense. So, although he will go for, obviously he'll go for the spheres when you get them. However, it's whoever gets it first. So, yeah, th that's kind of one of the more annoying things about the game is the, uh, oh. I don't know why I went back in here. Whoops. I went all the way, uh. I went, I went through that door. Yeah, sometimes the exit doors are kind of hard to remember where they're at just because of, like, where it is, so. All right, we need to go down. Yeah, Brick will just, uh, but yeah, the problem with the spheres in the game and your, your fairies getting, getting the spheres is that you have to, if you want that fairy to get it, you either need to unsummon him when the sphere appears, uh, or you need to, like, have your like uh, that fairy the closest to it, you know, so just keep that in mind. Oh yeah, I forgot to read what the key does. Now, right, where are you? There it is. Third floor key, it's obvious how to use this key. On, uh, it's obvious how to use this key found on the second floor of the Tower of Light. Well, thanks for telling me how obvious it is, I guess. Weird. All right, now we're at the third floor this time, so. All right, what do we got here? Ooh, another puzzle. Ah, I see, this one's a bit more tricksy. As you can see there, so. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what this says. Steel balls will, will, don't stop until they hit a wall. Use this knowledge to help solve the puzzles. Ah, I see. Well, this one's gonna be a bit more interesting than so. All right. Let's see. Okay, this one is. Let's see on the door here. This one. Okay, so, yeah, I'm trying to remember how to, okay. Yeah, I need to push this one over here, I believe. Okay, then I need to move it up here. Oh, wait, no, I think I need to. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I believe it's this one, or it's the next one. I'm trying to remember this. This one's. I wouldn't say it's super hard either, just it's uh, one of those that you actually have to think for a second, like how to. Let's see, I believe it's. Push it there. this one. Oh, wait, now I need to... This one. Yeah, sorry. I was thinking for a second. Okay, I push this one. Yeah, and unfortunately there's a bit of slowdown on this one because of the how much stuff's going on screen, so you just have to be... Uh... Okay, now I need to push this one down a bit. And then push that one, I believe, up as well. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, I think. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, I think I did this uh, a little incorrect. Sorry about that. My bad. 
Yeah, I need to I need to leave a space. That's what I was doing wrong. For a second I was like, wait a minute. Hold on. There we go. Uh, I need to do that. Push that. Push that up. And you want to make sure to obviously not block the door because of the well, I was trying to solve the puzzle so fast, I I, I did the stu obvious stupid thing where you go, wait a minute, hold on a second. So, sorry about that. One more time. Sorry, I got to put on our thinking caps. Well, I said not super difficult, just a case of now you have to start thinking a little differently. You know, keep your, keep your mind on the prize. So, yeah, unfortunately, like I said, slow down. Too much stuff going on on the screen. Yeah, Super Nintendo, man. You can only do so much. All right. This way, although there's probably is another way to solve this puzzle, not the way I'm doing it. Um, there's usually in this game, there's usually quite a few different solutions to the same thing, uh, depending on what it is. So what I'm doing may not be even the optimal way to do this. You know what I mean? So, so let's push this here all the way up, and this one up. All right, here we go. Moist. All right. Yep. Oh. Hey, Kashian or Kashian or whatever. I got the X-ray glasses from Rune. I had a duplicate pair made at the tool shop, so I gave these to you here. Wait, you went all the way back to the store and made them and then came back here? How long was I in here? You had the X-ray glasses. Well, whatever, I guess. Be careful of how much you're carrying, so you can move quickly. Well, I'll go first. Okay. Huh. Interesting. X-ray glasses. Maybe I should have put those on before she left. I, uh, I mean, uh, you know, just to check to see their secret doors. But yeah, X-ray glasses allow you to see the map of the dungeon. So let's take a look at this thing. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not as detailed as you like, but at least it gives you a general idea where you're at. So I can, and because we've already gone through this map, you kind of know, okay, this is where I've been, this is where we're going, that type of thing. So, but yeah, use X-ray glasses if you're unsure of where your current location is or where you need to go. So for the, oops, I forgot to cancel out, so. All right then. Well then. Looks like this uh, looks like this tower is a bit longer than I expected. Oh, hey, hey Ryan. Use the wolf gate to return to the village often. If you are defeated, you lose half your money. Get rid of items you don't need and suck up on items you do. And we have two warp gates, so we could easily go back. And you could actually go back by a warp gate if you need to get back. That type of thing. But, but okay. Well, thanks for this uh, suggestion. Yeah, these guys won't be, they're not like adversaries for you. They'll actually, they're actual helpful companions over the course of the game. They give you s tips and tricks and stuff like that. So, all right, well, looks like this tower is a lot bigger than we thought. We made ourselves to the third floor, but we got so many more to go. What awaits us at the top of this tower? We'll find out next time in the next episode of Brain Lord. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.